Welcome to In The Kitchen with Chef Dakers and of course I am Chef Anthony Dakers and I'm here today featuring my very own product Dakers Backyard Jerk Seasoning Ah, oh, I love it so much when I talk about my product I love my product so much the product is very versatile you can do almost anything with it beautiful product so today I'm going to do a testing just for you so you can take your pencil and your book and write down all of this note. Here today we have Miss Marcia doing the testing. Say hi Miss Marcia. Hi, how are you doing? Okay, so we have Miss Marcia going to do the testing later on. So stay tuned. So first, what we're going to do is we have a pot, a skillet or a Dutch pot, whatever you call it, and on the fire here. So what I'm going to do is just season the fish right here. Just going to just pour out some. And with this seasoning, you don't need a lot of salt because the salt content is just enough. So you're going to take, I love to use my hand. My hand is very clean. So you're just going to do it just like that and coat it. And you don't need even need to marinate this fish because the jerk season it's just perfect right and leave it for maybe five minutes or so and let the oil get hot enough so we don't want to right so I'm gonna go skin side on first because the skin really it holds the flesh together the flesh of the fish together you can hear that sear. Okay, so you sear the fish for five minutes on the skin side down. Then you leave it, turn it over on the flesh side because why you sear it on the skin side? The skin side is what holds the flesh of the fish together. So we don't want to have the fish all pull apart. Okay, so that is finished. Now we're going to move over to the final product. And we have Marcia in the kitchen. So Marcia, could you just Give us a taste and tell me, tell the viewers what's taking place in this beautiful fish. Well, Anthony, this fish really looks nice and it looks like it's something that will be delicious. First of all, I'd like to ask you, you're recommending your jerk seasoning. What is so special about your jerk seasoning? Why we should try it on our fish? I'm glad you asked that question, Marcia, because this jerk seasoning is not just any kind of jerk seasoning. Okay. Right? This jerk seasoning brings a different aura in your cooking cooking area. Okay. And definitely it will put vibes in your pot. Okay, and that's what we really want. That's right. what we really want. Alright, now that you're recommending that your jerk seasoning is good, I'm going to try it and I'll let our viewers know. Okay. This is really good. You know something? I can also taste a lot of spices in this jerk seasoning. Yes. I can taste the pimento. Yes. I can taste something like a little cinnamon in it. Yes. Is that so? Let me tell you something. This jerk seasoning is packed with natural herbs and spices. Okay. No MSG. Everything just natural from the farm. Okay, I can really taste it. And what is this you have here? It looks like potato. Okay. Or so it looks like yam. What is this? <laughs> it is sweet potato roasted okay. in garlic and butter okay. with a nice cranberry sauce. And sweet potato would go well because it has that little sweetness to it. Yes. With anything that's hot and spicy. Yes, so the sweet potato kind of just calm down the spice of the mm. fish. Right. This is really good. Another question. Can I take this one with me? Oh, definitely you can. Okay. This is really good. <laughs> And I would really recommend the day because jerk seasoning. I'm not somebody that really, really like a lot of spicy stuff, but this one really tastes good. Thank you and it so goes, much. And it goes well with the sweet potato. What is this you have here on the, on the side? Is, a, is it a sauce? Yes, that's a cranberry sauce. Okay. Let me just taste a little of it because I am taking this one with me tonight. Mmm. This cranberry is really good. Oh, thank you so much. What else would you recommend? 
to um to add to your jerk seasoning instead of fish okay the thing about my jerk seasoning mm -hmm. it is very versatile you can okay. use it on almost anything you can use it in chicken pork fish vegetables okay. people tell me that they use it in tin mackerel okay. and it actually works because i tried it and it was lovely okay okay, okay and that's it on in the kitchen with chef anthony bakers mm -hmm. stay tuned for more thank really you good. really good